So I was literally like thinking I was going to die on the toilet. This is Story Arcs and I'm Art. And this is about the time that I drank unholy water. So you might be wondering what I mean by that. And to give you a little background, when I was around 20 years old, I moved to the Dominican Republic to study medicine. And how I got from the Bronx to the Dominican Republic to study medicine is another story for another day. But needless to say, I got to my new apartment. I was in DR. And as soon as I got there, I knew nothing. I barely spoke any Spanish. Hola, amigos. And I was there with my soon-to-be ex-wife and her family. And so we go into this apartment that they had gotten for us. It, it was hot. hot it was like 95 degrees in DR. feels like 130 degrees anywhere else. So it was mad hot. It had been a long day of travel. And I get to this tiny little apartment. And the first thing I do when I get in, there's like this balcony outside the apartments, right? So as I'm going and getting inside the apartment, I see that there's this Haitian dude and he's drinking water out of a gardening hose. And he's just drinking the water like it's all good. So I'm like, oh, okay, the water's good. I get inside. As soon as I get inside, now everybody's still coming into the apartment with the luggage. So as I get inside, I go straight to the kitchen. I find myself a cup. I pour half a glass and I just start chugging, bro. And I'm like, good, 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 good. He's putting it down. And the family's walking in through the door and they're like, no, what are you doing? And I was like, what? And I'm like chugging my water. And they're like, no, stop. You can't drink the water here. And I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, you can't drink the water here. The water here is bottled water. You cannot ever drink water from the tap. And I'm like, oh no. And they're like, man, they're just looking at me like, this dude is dead. <laughs> He's so dead. And I'd say it probably took about One an hour, hour maybe an hour. hour and a half, bro, before my stomach started bubbling. Like, blah, blah, blah. It just started getting crazy. And the diarrhea that I had, dude, it was so bad. It lasted two weeks. I was so sick. I literally thought I was gonna die in the toilet bowl. There was times I'm sitting in there and I'm my stomach was killing me. I'm sweating, it's mad hot. And I was just like, I think I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die on a toilet bowl. This is crazy. To make matters worse, right? The place where we lived, I had never been to this country before. So I went down there basically with 500 bucks in my pocket and a one-way ticket. And I was like, I'm not leaving here until I get my degree. So the place where we lived, it was some jacked up apartment, right? In the hood, I'm in, in the this ghetto. small town that her father had found for us. And I'm out there just hanging out on the balcony because I couldn't leave anywhere because I always had to run back to the bathroom like every 15 minutes. So there was like nowhere for me to go in those first two weeks. I just had to basically hang out in this apartment like a prisoner. And I was a prisoner to my own stomach. And they have what they call guaguas, right? So they're like these little buses. And these little buses are jacked up. They don't have any windows. They run off of liquid petroleum gas, like propane gas tanks. They run off of these propane gas tanks. So one day, I'm standing there on the balcony and half a block away where the street is, this, <laughs> this bus rolls up and it just stops like in front of the apartment building and all the passengers jump out. They all jump out screaming and all of a sudden the bus blew up, bro. <laughs> it was like a bomb had gone off inside the bus. I was just like, holy smokes, what's this? <laughs> what did I do coming here? That was just like one of the many times that I saw things in the Dominican Republic that people just won't believe when you tell them these stories. So one thing that you must know is that if you ever travel to DR, never drink the water from the tap.